Hey, so postdocs can be particularly challenging times. I mean, in, in every part of your academic career, you have to deal with things that you have started in the past. You have to plan ahead for the future. And of course, you have to deal with the things that are currently needing to be done. But in postdocs, this, this time frame is so compressed in the typical, sometimes only one, sometimes two or three years, that I think it's worthwhile thinking about why postdocs can be particularly challenging times and what you can do to make it better. So first of all, you have to manage things that you have started from the past, namely your PhD. You have to pay attention and work mostly on the project that currently, um, for example, funds you. And of course, you, you cannot stop planning ahead for what comes afterwards. Managing your past means that during your PhD, you were not able to maybe publish all the manuscripts that you have started to work on during your doctorate and you still need to maybe do some analysis and you need to still do some writing and you might need to submit it to um, additional manus uh, to additional journals to eventually get those manuscripts published. Now this of course takes time and this time cuts into the work time for your current appointment, whatever it is. If it's funded from a grant or from a fellowship, you had um, planned your time to work on this project, it's of course full time, but now you still have these leftover tasks basically from your PhD, almost always. I mean, this is very rare that you get everything sort of wrapped up from your doctorate right when you graduate. So of course, everybody knows that this happens, but it's important to keep the time that you still dedicate to wrapping things up to the real absolute minimum and that you try to finish up things from your PhD just as fast as you can. And you are uh, better off if you can, you know, close all of these projects as quickly as possible so that you can fully focus on delivering on the project that you currently work on. That, of course, is easier said than done. Of course, there's the present. You need to deliver on your current position, <laughs> the current project that you applied for, the grant that funds you. This should be your, um, well, your focus, and it needs to be your focus um, almost all the time to 100% because you need to deliver on this current task. However, starting a postdoc means taking on new responsibilities, navigating a new environment, sometimes in a new city or a new country, and this can be very challenging in and itself. And uh, actually made a video about the transition from PhD to postdoc earlier that I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description. And then there is the future. Of course, during your postdoc, this is a term limited appointment and you have to always think about, well, either the next postdoc or a permanent position in industry or in academia or wherever the next steps um, lead you, but you have to prepare for that. And um, this, of course, also takes time. It takes time in terms, in terms of uh, preparing the application materials, uh, maybe to write these talks and putting the packages together. It might also mean writing grants to uh, get yourself funded for um, another appointment. And of course, all of this comes with um, quite a degree of uncertainty because, well, you have to plan for this uncertainty as well. And um, of course, don't feel guilty when you um, look for the next position fairly early on. Everybody knows that this happens. And usually the start dates are negotiable. So while you are applying for these other positions, you can still fulfill your obligations as much as possible to the current contract. And maybe you can shift the start for the next contract back for typically a couple of months. is uh, most frequently not a problem. So basically, what can you do to make this all work better? And there are three aspects to pay attention to. Continuity, communication, and time management. Continuity is super important because um, you need to have one common strand in your research through, um, basically that takes you from the past to the present into the future. And it can be very many different things and people often don't see them right away, but continuity can be, of course, in terms of the specific question or topic that you work on, but it can also be more like the general topic. So for example, if you previously worked more on say grasslands on a particular question, you could work on forests, but you still work on the same question, but you've changed the system that still constitutes 
continuity. Or maybe you can even change the question, but you keep some of the methods the same. So maybe some of the response variables are the same. So you use molecular methods, for example, or you measure nutrient cycles or something. So that also gives you a measure of continuity. And very often, these aspects of continuity are also super important to point out in your applications, for example, to a postdoc or for the next postdoc, a fellowship or a faculty position, so that it doesn't appear like you're just jumping around, but it's clear that there is sort of one a common thread through everything that you do. This continuity is also just really important because rather than directly competing <laughs> for time when you work on different projects, then this has a tendency to help you out, for example. The stuff that you do during your PhD, it can be serving as preliminary data for things that you do during your postdoc or for a grant that you write as a faculty member. So there is just huge rewards in the beginning to think very carefully about what can stay the same in the way you do research. I think this is one of the most important things to get settled in terms of research strategy as you progress through your career. And as I said, sometimes it's not so obvious. You need to think about it. What is the aspect that is really continuous? The second point, communication. I mean, it's clear that people have to still wrap up things from the previous appointment. And it's also clear that people need to apply for the next opportunity. But it's uh, very important that as you do so, you communicate with your current PI because they need to know what's going on. And they will understand, typically, <laughs> this goes on. Um, and they will then know what, what you're doing at any given point in time. For example, oh, well, this week I really need to make sure that I get in the application for this faculty position that I'm really after. Or, well, from Monday to Tuesday this week, I really need to work on wrapping up this paper for my PhD. So just openly communicate with your PI because they typically want you to succeed. Third point, time management and being organized. I think this is very important in your current postdoc position that you don't let your life being completely taken over by the future or by the past. You need to focus on your project. Um, and you can have phases where you pay more attention to wrapping up things for your PhD, from your PhD and where you sort of plan ahead. But this cannot take over because you'll make everybody unhappy, including yourself. Now, how you do this exactly is up to you and your personal style. Some people use particular apps. Uh, some people monitor their progress in various ways, um, or some people just keep track of it in a very loose way, um, or write little self-reports, wh whatever you do, and there's all kinds of ways that people use to manage their time. Um, it doesn't matter what exactly you do, the problem, the, the, the most important thing is that you, that, that you do something and that you keep track of what you spend your time on. Basically, whatever helps you to keep a fair balance. And of course, this is um, a general um, skill to manage that you will, of course, always have things that you need to wrap up. There's always stuff that you need to currently focus on and you need to plan ahead. So of course, that never goes away. But as I said in the beginning, I think this is nowhere as compressed into a time frame as during your postdocs.